Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode here on European Confessions. The following story that you're going to be listening to, it was sent to me by one of our admins who helped us with this translation. The translation, it reads like this. Hello, Brother Nashi, how are you? Can you please post my own story as anonymous? I am a 38-year-old woman who is South African, currently staying in my country and i need to unburden my heart and i also want your listeners to assist me and i hope that one day my sister will be someone who would want to listen to this type of stories because she hates this kind of content on youtube all that she does is that she watch vlogs and other types of entertainment anything that has anything to do with spirituality she totally like hate it so i have been listening to most of these channels that share confessions then i started thinking about my life my sister's life and everything that she is going through even though she is saying that she is living the perfect life so i have a confession that has been really troubling me and troubling my soul for many many years and I just want your listeners to assist me. Am I the one who is just overthinking things? Am I the one who is wrong? So my name, you can call me Tandeka, not my real name. And I grew up in a family that has always been cl a close-knit family. But there have been some events that have shattered the peace and harmony that we once knew. It all started when my sister's husband, when he passed away, that was when my sister changed. She was someone who was always depressed, always withdrawn. Then she started dating another guy and everything totally changed. She ignored us for a year and we did not even know where she was. Later on, that was when she called me one night. She told me that she was in Zim and we were like, you are in Zim. Why are you there? And then she said that she was playing Makoti there and for a year she was there. She then decided to return back. Then my elder sister, whom I will call Noctula, not her real name, she was always like the shining star of our family, beautiful, intelligent, and always full of life. She was the kind of a person who could light up a room just by walking into it. Growing up, she was my role model, and I always wanted to be like her. When she met this guy, the man who later became her husband, we were all overjoyed. He was a man who was charming, successful, and treated our sister like a queen. That was when they got married. When they got married, it was in the year 2006, and everything seemed perfect on the surface. And this man, he was a wealthy man. And currently, when we estimate his net worth, we think that he is around 10 million rands. That is how rich he is. He has several businesses in our country, properties, and he has businesses as well there in Zim. But there is always something about him that always felt off to me. And at first, I just thought that maybe it was because I was trying to be overprotective about my sister. But there was always something that I could not put my finger on. But because there is always this darkness in his eyes, he is someone who is cold, he does not smile. If you try to throw a joke at him, he will just look to the side. And if you ask him, was the joke funny or not, he will say, like, I don't know. And he never laughs. I have never seen him laughing, even though my sister is always claiming that when they are alone in the bedroom, he is always laughing. So what type of a person does that? He only laughs when he is with his wife, only in the bedroom. All the time, he is always serious. He never wants to have direct eye contact with anyone. So I have noticed over the years that my sister, like I told you, has changed. She is no longer that vibrant woman whom we used to go out with. The woman that I once knew, she was always at every party. She was always there. But all of a sudden, she changed. She is someone that is withdrawn, almost like a shadow of her former self. She rarely visits us. And when she does, sometimes she does not speak. She is always quiet. And when you ask her, she will be like, you know, business is like that. When you are running a business, sometimes you need to focus. I am thinking about if I will be able to make a profit tomorrow. So she is always like that. And when it comes time for me to visit Nogdula at her home, 
Sometimes I feel this overwhelming sense of dread. There is always this oppressive atmosphere in the house as if something is always following me, as if there is someone who is with me in the guest room where I will be staying. And that is one thing that I don't like about visiting my sister. It's like when you visit my sister, like during the afternoon, you can be in the main house, like they have a big mansion. But as soon as the sun has gone down, then they move you to the guest house. This is what they do. They do not want to share their mansion with anyone. As long as you are a visitor, it does not it does not matter if it is Noctula's relatives who are it does not matter if it is Noctula's husband's relatives that are from Zim. They even complain they are not allowed to sleep in the mansion. It's only my sister, her husband, and their children. They are the only ones that sleep in their big house. It has a lot of rooms. We do not even know what else do they use these rooms for. All their guests, they just sleep in the guest house. Then there is a snake. So this snake, it was my brother who saw this snake. So my brother saw this snake. It was about five years after they got married. My brother said that it was a large black snake. And he saw this snake in the backyard of their big house. And when he saw this snake, it startled him. And he said that he went and he reported the issue to my sister. But my sister he had gone out shopping. He then thought of uh, telling his brother-in-law, our sister's husband, but the man just brushed it off, saying that it was just a harmless snake, and snakes are wonderful because they eat the rats, and maybe it had just wandered from the nearby fields. But my brother said that he just felt like something was wrong. He then grabbed a big stick, and he said that he did not want the kids to get hurt. But the guys that came, my brother said that it seemed as if they were all also from Zim, like they were prophets. They were the ones that handled the snake and then they went with the snake away. So when I heard this story, I just thought that maybe it was one of my brother's scary stories. So when I went and I visited my sister, that was when I saw a snake. I saw this snake. It was in the driveway and I saw this snake in their mansion. And when I spoke with my sister about this, my sister said, no, just leave it. Here we have a lot of snakes. And I said, you are saying that I should leave this poisonous snake. You are used to seeing all of this snake. And she was like, yes, just leave it. Brother Nashi, after that, I saw that our brother-in-law, he was always on business trips. He is someone who is always getting wealthier and wealthier by the day. But the problem is that my sister has two daughters. Maybe people will say that I am jealous. If I am jealous, I want people to help me to explain this. They have two daughters of theirs, but all of them, they were born with severe disabilities. They are crippled. They cannot walk. They cannot speak properly. It is very strange that two of your kids, they are both born in this way. And then when we had a little uh, research, my brother was the one who did a little research. He then got in contact when, with one of the relatives who is the ex-wife's relative, but that woman, she has since passed away. So my brother spoke with that woman who was also working here. We had a meeting with that woman. She also told us that her own cousin's sister, she had kids that had severe disabilities before she had passed away. I then went and I confronted Noctula about this and I told her about our suspicions as a family, the snake and the way that she changed after she married this man. She is someone who is defensive. She even threatened us and she said that she can go to the police and it will be very painful if we force her to go to the police to do a protection order so that we can stop visiting her and we can stop stressing her. That is what she said when we asked her about some of the evidence that we had gathered as a family. So this is the confession that I have. I want people to help me and my brother and as a family. We do not know how else can we convince Noctula that this man that she is married to it is not normal that as a man, he has four kids, all of them, they are crippled. Two with his wife who passed away from Zim, two with my sister. All of them, they are crippled. All of them, they have severe 
illnesses and as for my sister she is more like a zombie the same thing that we were told by that same woman whom we met we say that even a cousin sister by the time that she passed away it was as if she said she did not have a mind of her own she will just look at you and when you would speak with her she will just start to cry when you would ask her why are you crying she said she will panic and she will say i am crying i don't know why i am crying so i do not want my sister to get to that stage please help us give us advice what else are we supposed to do in this situation Dear listeners, right there was a message that was sent to me by one of our admin who helped us with this translation, hoping that you were able to understand uh, this translation. Strange things indeed, they do happen in this world.